everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Never Give Up. Also a game I have not played as of yet, but I look at the I look at the store page here. I know what I'm getting into. First off, I bought it myself. It was fifteen dollars US, seventeen forty nine Canadian. Except it is twenty percent off because it's the Steam sale right now. This is indeed a situation where the Steam recommender. Oh, just start me on our difficulty, please. Has come to save me during a time of relative uh, darkness in terms of releases on Steam. Just VR exclusive bad basketball games and Rocket League knockoffs. Send me, dude. It is a what appears to be a Super Meat Boy style hardcore action platformer. I'm ready for it. Please let me go through the door. I am not afraid. One thing you might not know about me, not that many platformers come out in the modern era, okay? If more of them came out, you would realize that I am probably one of the best platform video gamers on planet Earth. You will not hit me with a laser. Okay, I would like you to stop talking. <laughs> I get you got you got your own uh, oh, okay, never mind. I guess you got your own impetus here. Right in the eye. I do want the coin. I'm just trying to see how I can make it through. There you go. There is a secret item hidden in every level. Find it and reach the exit to get a beaker. Okay. Okay, but how do you Was there a switch I had missed? There's no way I've got to get missiles to destroy that. Hold on. How did I get so confused? You know what? I bet you run through this. Okay, I was just going to say, you get that, they let you go. Okay. See, uh, like I said, one of the better platform gamers in human history. Unfortunately, not so good with the old tutorialization. You really got to spell things out for me. But when it comes to just running and jumping, you have very little to fear. Now, there was a time, to be honest with you, where I was kind of... Okay, fair enough. Where I was kind of over the tough as nails platformer, as they call it. That was not a very wise move, I'll admit. Um, it seemed like in the wake of Super Meat Boy's influence, they were coming out, like, non-stop, right? You probably got a duck under that one, right? <laughs> one more to give up? I don't think that'll be necessary, to be honest. Well, well, well. Okay, but just let me hit the button and move on. Oh. What I was going to say is, I think that that time has honestly passed. Collect the coin to unlock new costumes. Easy money. I feel like the the era where the, you know, the only two kinds of indie games that were coming out. Oh, sorry. Were, um, oh, die more to give up. It doesn't say one more to give up. Um. Where the only two kinds of indie games that came out were uh, tough as nails action platformers like Super Meat Boy and then puzzle platformers like Braid. That era has since left us. Now we got, uh, it's the era of the roguelike and the deck builder. And to be honest, I'm here for it. But it does feel nice to play a game. It's a little bit more reminiscent as well. Hold the bumpers to give up. You know what? The game's called Never Give Up. I have to know what happens if you give up. You gave up. Congratulations. It's just a game, so what if you gave up? Stop trying so hard to impress me. Just settle in next to the fire, turn on some jazz, take off your pants. Aw, oh, yes. Well, that's the gimmick. I never want to see it again. Start me over again. I want to try it. <laughs> I guess the the conceit there is that you could um, proceed while also uh, not necessarily having to win every single level. You know what I mean? But of course, we will not be doing that. Instead, we will not be giving up. We're gonna learn about what we got to do here. So I like uh, I like an indie platformer, and moreover, now's not really the time to be choosy. 
I didn't realize. With the... The Steam Winter Sale, I'm telling you, it's all an elaborate conspiracy in order to get you to check out the Steam Labs Recommender if you want to play new games. If you want to buy The Witcher 3 for 99% off, this is your time. If you want to experience independent games releasing on a daily basis, you're basically fresh out of luck. Look at that, we're so much better this time. Don't screw it up. Pretty much mastered it. Man, I hope I wake up soon so I can... Uh, wait, what do I do when I'm awake? Can I tell you? This game is a heck of a HUD for a platformer. I'm used to a more minimalistic HUD. I'm looking at this and I'm like, what the heck's going on? You got, you know, some kind of atomic juice. I do like the idea that all the levels, uh... Yikes. Hold on. Just a moment. I really wanted the coin. I do like the idea that the levels are just variants on levels you had earlier, but they get tougher as time goes on with more obstacles and stuff like that. I think it's a cool idea, but I am a little bit overwhelmed as well with just what the heck's going on in the HUD down there. You got, you know, new outfits to find. Sure, I get that. You got your total number of deaths. I get that. Probably a target time. Have you found the secret beaker? What room are you on? What's your current time? How much blood have you put in the blood machine? It's a little overwhelming, but you know what? I do appreciate that they put it all in a single bar on the bottom so that uh, I can just keep my face cam up here in the top right where it belongs. <laughs> okay, send it low. This part is, is easy money. You just wait that out. How valuable is the coin? Once you start falling, it's over, brother. So I think I think what you might want to do is a little classic little Mega Man X wall slide. And then stop. Maybe, you know, it's it's Northern Lion tries. It's not Northern Lion gets a perfect score in the game on his first ever attempt, you know? That would be a completely different style of series uh, that I'm only really qualified to do in like a couple of different games that have ever been released in human history. One of which is probably Tetris. 99 that is I really thought we were ahead of schedule. I I will not give up mostly I Don't appreciate the meme Message when I give up I think that we as gamers should reward excellence not mediocrity, okay? Oh Thank God That was no problem you know, this nightmare is annoying enough. Captain Megaphone better hope I don't find his mouthy butt. Give it to me straight. Did a YouTuber do the dialogue? It has extreme YouTuber energy right now, and I say that knowing my position right now. I'm watching you. Hey, are you messing with me? I wanted to let the dialogue breathe for a bit. It's like a Noah Bombatch film. You ever notice we got the scarf from Journey in this game? No, just me? Okay, not a wise jump on my behalf. And yet here we are. How about a little send them? Now here's the hard part. You gotta do it all in one or two fell swoops is there you go okay could have been worse honestly oh my god i'm actually you turned me into a horror youtuber with that spike at the end but take it from me i have i have seen worse than this in mario maker you have not faced true platform existential anyway until you have found yourself trapped in Javier's House of Horrors. Anytime you dip below the surface, you got hidden blocks keeping you from going back up. All the while, the Nintendo sound effects are going, ha 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 to yourself, Javier. I am a seasoned retro video gamer. I'll have you know, 
I've beaten two of the first three Contra games without using the Contra code. That's right, I have beaten Super C and Contra 3 The Alien Wars. I don't believe I've beaten the original Contra. But I probably could have if I put my mind to it when I was 10. Keep it up. We can make this. I have to say right off the bat, I mean, we're only 10 minutes into the video here. This is like, this game is the definition of what you see is what you get for sure. Now, if you're playing this, here's, here's my personal take on it so far. If you're playing this and you're like, this has to be better than Super Meat Boy for me to enjoy it. I'm here to tell you this might not be what you're looking for, okay? But if you're the kind of person who enjoys a platformer agnostic of whether or not it's, you know, the greatest game that the genre has ever seen, then uh, this might be up your alley. It does have, like, a... Uh, it's got kind of like a flashware aesthetic, you know what I mean? And I know this is published by Armor Games, um, so th that makes sense to me. And what's weird is that I think there was a time where, like, if you called something a flash game in terms of the way it looked, that would be like a major insult. Now it's like this bizarre period of gaming history where you would, like, in high school computer class, or probably middle school computer class, depending on the age you are when you're watching this, you would, uh, you know, go to addictinggames.com and uh, rather than learning valuable information subsidized by the taxpayer, you would just, you know, waste your life playing like candy stand golf and stuff like that. It's almost like a nostalgic throwback, you know? It's like a sepia tone, but for video games. Until Instagram brought back the sepia, it had lost a lot of respect. Now everybody's like, oh, wait till golden hour, then take my photo, please! Oh my god! That one is on me, but also the wall jump is a little stickier than I'm used to. I'm a little embarrassed. We have not made it further than this, but it is what it is. We've definitely learned all the necessary steps. It slices, it dices, it even Julius fries. It's like, it's like ashes in my mouth when I hear those things you say after I've died. I'm also, I'm surprised you cannot slide into a jump. That seems like, uh... This seems like the way that a lot of platformers would set that up, okay? I'm starting to become resentful of the game, because I know it's like... Hey, just give up, it's okay. But... What's the point, you know, if you just give up? There is no point. You could just give up and beat the game, but you haven't really beaten the game. Instead, all you've gotten are a bunch of patronizing cartoon vignettes. They're probably going to say, like, I'm a fire in my laser or something before too long. Okay, just go fast. If you go fast, you can't lose. The levels, that's the little... That's the little secret to platformers, okay? Games like... Platformers like this, they seem so tough, especially when I'm playing them, apparently. But if you just tackle them, like, as fast as possible, in most circumstances, it's just a rhythm game. I'm not saying we're at speedrun status here. Merely that the obstacles... It's like playing somebody's Mario Maker level, you know? For the most part, they've built it around, like, the optimum uh, jump timing and frequency. No problem. Wait! I forgot my wallet. It's a YouTuber. I personally guarantee it. New costume. Suit up. Why not? Emergency exit. Single file and orderly. We're gonna hopefully... I know that this seems audacious right now. We're gonna try to keep this one going until we uh, encounter the boss at the very least. Because I want to see what's up with the boss battles. For now, 
I will understand, don't get me wrong, if you do not have the highest hopes that that's going to be possible for us. But all I can do is my best. How do you feel about that right there? Excuse me. Are you... Did you used to be in the creatures? Like, I, I recognize... I feel like I recognize your voice. Just go, dude. This is only going to get harder. That's no problem. See, that's like a Super Me Boy 101 with an extra slide added on top. That one you gotta wow, slow it down really for. Depressing if I weren't the master of my own destiny. Wonder if the obstacles reset room to room. They definitely seem to. Good work, team. And by team, I mean pretty much me exclusively. That's you never, never try to rush that one. You try to rush that one, you're gonna have an unhappy time. There you go. Like a rat in a maze, except without the. Yo, that's straight out of Dark Souls. I at least respect the uh, the references. Kind of challenge to me. This looks like a three Red Bull kind of challenge to me. Okay, do not even... I see the secret down there. I'm choosing not to interface with it in the interest of... Time. You know what I mean? I told you I wasn't terrible at video games. Apparently it was not a secret room! It was just the way. There's no shame in giving up. Are you kidding me? We're crushing it lately. And getting crushed on occasion as well. Right? You can't stand it, there it. and wait for I the got bomb. I got it. How are you gonna do this one? I can't believe I ate the whole thing. I'm just gonna call it like I sees it, okay? I kinda hate the catchphrase. Is this how people who hate Marvel feel whenever, like, you know, Captain America speaks? In the movie, not in real life, because he's a character. The quips are... In my opinion, they're subtracting a little personality. Your mileage may vary, this might be the sort of thing you're into. If you're going to die, but when? Send it, dude. Send it, dude. Okay, don't send it then. See, this is like, that's platformer 101. Room five of six. We might even get the get gold dirty. and metal here. Outfit have sleeves? Whoa, okay. That time, I gotta be honest, I did not see that one coming. Don't waste too much time here if possible. I do love watching you die. Shut up! Thank you. I what I do like, and this is sincere by the way. What I do like is this uh, iterative design of the levels, I think is really cool. The fact that you kind of like, they add on a little bit of each, you know, every time you finish a stage of the level. And you learn it, they give you something new. I knew we weren't going to make that one. Please let me out, thank you. Gold medal still on the table. I think that's kind of a novel approach. Keep your spikes close, but your saws closer. Mm -hmm. Let me introduce you. Rider meet horse. Horse meet rider. It's all right. I have I have the pattern down for this part. Just takes a second to get it used to. Thought I could slide through that. Maybe I did slide through it and the saw got us, but it's just not the right way to handle it, to be honest. Okay, I'll just stand there and let that happen. I think I saw the light effect from one of those missiles keep going. I mean, that's not like a super negative. I was just like wondering what that shooting star was going across the screen. All right, we, the gold medal is pretty much has to happen on this one, but like really fast. Ouch! Help. Okay, we've actually made progress. The first part of this level is the hardest part of the level. Do not at me. I know we frequently die at the second part of the level. I'm here to tell you that's because I'm a fool. 
Not the second part, the third part, I guess. Not because it's actually difficult. Oh my god! I'm not even begging for clemency. As long as you stay quiet when I die, I'm less bothered. <laughs> it's, you know, I just just don't ruin my peace of quiet, please. That's all I have to ask. Oh, jeez. Ow oh, jeez is an acceptable approach. Look, there's only room for one YouTuber reacting to the video game character deaths in this town, okay, buddy? And it's freaking me. That time, we took a chance, we made it through. That was a little spooky. How about we try something different this time? Yeah, better. It's one of those times you're like, we did this on our first attempt. The whole time just saying, well, it's a... Holy homing missile, Batman. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I was surprised at my visceral reaction to, to that right there. I don't think it's too hard, by the way. Like, I think I think this is like an appropriate level of deaths for a game called like "Don't Give Up" or "Never Give Up." But it is is getting inside of my head. Like I'm trying to figure out if it's meant to be adversarial, if it's meant to frustrate you, or if uh, a little dash of comedy is there. To make you feel better about the calamity of the world we find ourselves invested in here. Can't just walk onto that. That makes perfect sense. I also feel like, I don't, I don't know how fair of a criticism this is. I feel like I'm so far away from my character. I'm like, come on. You couldn't have me zoom in a little closer? I don't need to see. I mean, I guess I, it, it probably Surprise. does help inform the upcoming gameplay a little bit. To be able to see what's coming, um... Ah, that hurts, you know. But I also feel like I would personally just prefer to be like a little closer to my character, right? Like, have my character sprite appear to be a bit larger or something, you know? It just, it, I feel very zoomed out. Not in a... I guess like an objectively negative way, but in a way where I'm like, you know, I get it, I got... I got good breadth. My FOV slider is cranked all the way. But I would not mind being able to see that sweet, sweet costume. Give me a minute. Okay, don't give me a minute because I screwed up my timing. That's understandable. I mean, we got all the pieces. We just need to put them together. Like, we've never died here, except there is one saw coated in blood, but if okay. It's one of those situations, it's, it's the classic video game loop, okay? You get good at an obstacle, you start rushing it a little bit, and it makes you worse. That's why, like, sometimes the first or second time you try something is actually, you know, like, the, your best result. I think maybe I've decided I don't actually miss this era of indie games as much as I thought. I don't mean that to come across as an insult. <laughs> I think like... To some extent I've forgotten there was a little bit of frustration associated with all those... All those games that uh... You jumped into it thinking it was the portal. That's a new one. And this is uh... This is a mad cause bad situation. I'll level with you on that one. I think that would be a fair assessment. The term I've recently heard on the internet was uh, malding. That's when you're uh, mad, but also balding. I would like to inform you that term does not apply to me, because I'm not balding. I'm bald. Plus, as Swery65 said in the game D4, I'm not bald. I shave. Two very, very different things. I'm dying a little bit on the inside, so I'm here to tell you, we probably will not keep this going until we get to the boss fight. 
<laughs> that that was very much uh, wishful thinking on my part. But I would be remiss, I think, if I didn't beat this level and then also give you at least an attempt at one more. Because, like, I got the pieces locked in here. Like, the Northern Lion Classic is... Hey, NL, thanks for the video. I just had to go out and purchase the game after I watched you play it. Because uh, I couldn't believe that it could actually be that hard. You are so bad, you're selling a lot of copies of the game as a result. So if that's, if that's why you're watching the channel, um, you're definitely getting some serious mileage out of this video because this is uh just from a results oriented standpoint certainly amongst the worst i've ever played in a northern lion tries in some northern lion tries it's not obvious that you're playing badly you know like i think back to griftlands i was probably making some seriously suboptimal decisions didn't matter because we beat level one and uh overall Overall, a lot harder to tell because you're not exploding into a bright red cloud of mist every time you make a, a small error. On this one, obviously that's not the case. Obviously the red mist factor is a little bit higher. So it's pretty obvious that my lack of skill is abundant. One way or the other, I swear to God. We will at least beat the second world. Look at this. We have an actual frame-perfect run coming. Didn't even have to do the jump there. We're like eight frames ahead of my normal placement. Send it. No hesitation. Beautiful plays. Get ready. You know what's coming up. He's actually done it. I did die 53 times, uh, so I'm like a little embarrassed with that. Don't be a cutscene. It's not a cutscene. Basement, bring the Doritos and Mountain Dew. You know I'm at least good for the first couple of levels here. That's easy mode. Room one of five, don't make me laugh. What do I do with that cheese plate? Is that a joke? Failure is an acceptable outcome. The fact that this guy is still talking to me really makes me feel like I'm in the tutorial, which is just uh There's a modest amount of demoralization there, I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna we're gonna get through it. We're gonna put our ego aside. Damn it! Don't say the D word on my channel, dude. I'm trying not to get demonetized here. How dare you? Okay. That was probably too slow, but we got it done. Uh. <laughs> Did you just say Matt? Or did he say Drat? Was he saying Boo Earns? I'm already scared. I'm like, looking at this level and I'm like, I actually think... Oh my god, dude, there's a beep. I'm dying, dude. Go ahead, take a shot. That one's gonna get me. Yolo! Fair enough. <laughs> I hate myself. What the f There's like an extreme South Park energy just radiating off of this game right now. It has transported me back to a different time. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it, okay? I'm gonna at least try to make it. It's not going super well.
Uh, I'm pretty sure I landed directly on a spike there. So I'm a, I'm a very happy man. Like watching a lamb to the slaughter. He's done it. Like, actually done it. Wait this one out. You were lucky to get this far. You drop like a stone once you're on the wall, so you gotta be real prepared. Okay. Well, we won. Let's keep it going. Should have seen that coming, I suppose. Dude, that is a heinous obstacle. I don't know if I'm missing something on that one, but... Even this is like, you gotta be... Like, you can't screw up that jump, and I find the jump kind of hard to make. I guess you could just stall. You could stall there. That's. Ow, my face! Voiced by Ryan Reynolds. Ow, my arms! That one was more of like a Chris Parnell. I just I, how many people can say they know what the inside of their own head looks like. I really, really dislike that first obstacle. Like, well, not first, but this little nightmare corridor here. Ah, my legs! <laughs> I think I got like one death left in me. This one doesn't count because it's so torso. horrible. I get it! How am I whatever, okay? Give me one more. Ow, my All right. Small F fair enough. Um, <laughs> it's going to do it for Never Give Up. To be honest, not my favorite entry in the Tough as Nails uh, platformer genre. And parts of the game's uh, vibe don't really uh, suit me that well. That being said, it seems like a competent uh, game in addition to the genre. You can check it out by the link in the video description below if you're interested. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Click the like button. And again, there will be a link in the video description below if you want to pick it up. It is the Steam Winter Sale. You can get it for a, a cheap price or a cheaper price at least. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I said the above earlier and I'll see you next time. See ya!